Oh no, it's too soon. It's said I had more time, it's too soon. I think you're doing quite well, actually. You see, my work's coming along much faster than I anticipated. I don't see why you're so concerned. Why you knew I, this was coming. Why can I still think, still feel, still, still speak? Well, I'm not completely heartless. I'm not gonna take everything from you, yet. That would be no fun at all. I can still think. My mind's normal. I can, I can still fend you off. Can you? You're literally a prisoner in your own body. Any hope you have is a fantasy, a dream. You're going to open your eyes and still be unable to move. No dream can make that go away. Some can. I can make myself, I can still shut you out. You're just setting yourself up for failure. You're wrong. Am I? You see, Jeremy, your, your mind can be your greatest ally. Or it can be your worst enemy. Most itches originate in the mind. I think you'll agree. Scratch it. It's just an itch. I can fight that. I just have to think of something else. You might be able to fight that. Can you stop this? Ah! Stop! Please. I thought Please. you were supposed to be fending me off. Ah! Stop! Maybe I'll fight an itch, but I control you. Don't forget that. I own you, and I will take everything from you. Your fight is noble, I'll admit that. But you have to accept it, I've won. You can't beat me. I already have. You can fight all you want, but in the end, I'm going to win. I'm here to stay, Jeremy. I'm gonna finish you. Besides, you know what comes next. I'm not going to give up. I'm really gonna enjoy the quiet around here when you can no longer speak. I won't. You will. Okay. Don't do that again. <laughs> I'm trying my best. Does it hurt? No. I, I can't move anything now. It's gotten worse. I'm sorry this had to happen to you. It's not fair. Neither is life. Could you grab me a glass of water? That last one took it out of me. Okay. 
I don't know how I've been able to do it. I stay so calm throughout all of this. You've amazed all of us. Mom, Dad, the doctors, me. Can I ask you something? Yeah, sure. I know that this has been hard for... I know that this has been hard for you and mom and dad. But I, I need to know. Have you, have you given up on me? I feel horrible saying it. But, but it had to come come up at some point, right? I tried not to think that way. I, I couldn't help it. I mean, the doctors are saying that there was no reason to hope at all, so I just kind of accepted that what they were saying would eventually come true. But you proved me wrong. You kept smiling, joking. You, you still had hope. You didn't give up. Look, we're here for you. I'm here for you, okay? We still need you. I love you too, Laura. No, I won't leave. I know. But I can live with you. I know I'm not alone anymore. Because in here, you can't touch me. In here, I have everything I need. I can still feel. I can still live.